What's happening guys? Welcome back to LMTV. My name's Jamie. I've got Ryan on the camera. I've got Harry and Georgia with us today and they brought us their beautiful Mark 7.5 Golf R. Um, today's video is a little bit of a mixture of a package that we're selling them and a bit of testing and also the introduction of our software which is being rebranded from Loma Tuning to Savage Software. Um, for whatever reason Loma Tuning just weren't sticking, because, probably because we made the word up, it was made up for a particular reason, but um, it seems that it's just not sticking in the market so we've, we're making it a bit simpler for people to, to latch onto and we're going to go with Savage Software, purely because the slogan with Logic Motorsport is come here and take your car from average to Savage, so it'll be marketed as SVG, Savage Software, obviously because software is the remapping, the tuning and all that good stuff, the calibrations and whatnot. So. Today's video we're going to take this particular car from average to savage on a stage 1 plus level um, We're going to take the stage 1 tuning for the ECU and the TCU And we're also going to add some hardware which will be the trusty R600 It will be the ever trusted forge inlet hose and turbo elbow And the racing line coolant reroute hose just to keep things nice and organised Very pretty under the bonnet um, And it goes without saying performance there to boot as well so Enjoy the video guys, thanks. So we've just jumped out of um, Harry's car and um, it's done 286 wheel as a stock car on the dyno. Um, obviously we're measuring wheel horsepower here at Logic to keep things as true and as honest as possible and we use 12.5 as a percentage in terms of conversion and stuff like that. So essentially you've got 286 wheel plus 12.5% for loss in the drivetrain. We're predicting that this car is doing 321 brake horsepower. Um, obviously Volkswagen quote these come out of the factory at 310. Over the forums we see a lot of these cars when they're measured in brake horsepower they do 320, 320. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever for us to believe this car isn't doing 320. So fantastic place to start, good honest true figures, good straight car. It's running V power as well which is obviously um, more than essential when you come to tuning. So. Without further ado, let's get into putting some hardware on the car, we'll take a read off it, we'll load up the Savage um, Stage 1 Plus tuning software to the ECU, the Stage 1 to the TCU as well, um, get some more runs in and see the difference. So basically we've put the car on the dyno, we've installed the intake system, obviously it's the R600, it's the forge inlet hose and it's the coolant reboot hose as well. Um, before we put that on, we dyno around the car, it did 286 wheel horse. Bang on the money if I'm going to be honest with you. With the addition of the R600 and the rest of the goodies, just hardware, no tuning, it's done 294. So just shy of 10 wheel horsepower, which is probably about what racing line would quote. So yeah, again, bang on the money. Car's doing its job, hardware's doing its job. It's good to see that we're doing our job as well. On with the tuning and we'll go from there. All right guys, so that's the TCU tune done. Um, when tuning a car, we have a TCU tune as well. We always put the TCU tune on first. So we sort the gearbox, put the gearbox out first, and um, then the ECU. That way, we know the car's going to be able to cope with and manage um, 
any additional stresses, any additional forces. So it's no good really putting a stage one push tune on a car, running it on the dyno, and then putting a gearbox tune on afterwards. We might as well put the gearbox tune on first. So we know it's gonna cope with any additional, like I say, forces on the gearbox and everything else as well. So yeah, gearbox tunes on the car. Um, let's get Savage stage one plus on, let's go. Alright guys, just to do, uh, give you a little recap before we go ahead with the um, calibrated runs. The car came in stock, it's just got a resolute, nothing major to change performance. The car's running on V-Power, which it should be. 286.5 wheel horsepower, which equates at 12.5% loss in drivetrain. Um, so about 320, which is pretty much what everyone knows that these cars do on dynos quite reliably. Um, we added the R600, we added the forge inlet hose, we added the coolant reroute hose um, as an intake package. Um, 294 wheel horsepower, which is 8 more wheel horse, probably equating to about what, 12, 13 brake horse more, which is great for racing line, that, that equipment's there doing its job. Um, we've since uploaded the software, so obviously we put the TCU on first, um, we don't run the car, tuned without a TCU tune just to make sure the car can cope with what we're about to do with it. Um, so Savage Stage 1 Plus um, ECU software, Savage Stage 1 TCU software on the car. Um, we're looking for around 380 to 390 um, brake horse. Um, we'll come back with some calculations in a minute. For now let's get a running. Okay then, so the results are in. The car's got Savage Stage 1 Plus tuning, it's got Savage Stage 1 gearbox tune. Um, yeah, decent as, as predicted. We quote 380 to 390, obviously variations need to be allowed for for the condition of the car, the fuel the car's running, how well the customer takes care of things. Um, obviously the hardware upgrades, if any as well, so our Stage 1 Plus figures are between 380 and 390. This has done 347 wheel, which with the 12.5% addition for the loss in the drivetrain, it is bang on the 390. So it's obviously a well looked after car. It's on the right fuel. It's done the, the higher end of the figures that we quote. Couldn't ask for anything more. Customers obviously delighted. Logic Motorsport, Stage 1 Plus, MQB platform, Savage tuning, taking the cars from average to Savage. That's why it's the new name, Savage. What do you reckon? <gasps> Any good? Oh my god! That is Go on. If you want. Yeah? Oh yeah, that's really good. <laughs> that 
that's an animal, that, isn't it? Like that? That's ridiculously fast. Hey, hey. Miles better. Go on, lad. It's dead. Dude. What's your favourite thing about it? It's just rapid, isn't it? It feels a lot better, though. Right. That is fast. <laughs>